Hey what's up everybody this is Dom and today we are checking out a brand new Cydia tweak called Mission Board Pro. It was actually recently released as just Mission Board not too long ago. Mission Board was kind of laggy and it was uh, lacking some features but the developer has stepped it up, released Mission Board Pro and it is a very, very great tweak. There is a bunch of different customizable options and a whole bunch of different cool features and we're gonna go over it here. So like I said, this is an app switcher replacement and you can set up activation methods to invoke Mission Board Pro or you can simply switch this replace app switcher button here to completely replace the app switcher. So let's go ahead and check out Mission Board Pro. I have it set to replace my default app switcher by double pressing the home button, but you can set it up with activator methods as well. Now, as you can see here, we have different squares of apps and you can actually see a screenshot from all of the apps that I have open and the scroll is very nice on this. It's very smooth, there's no lag at all and you can just freely scroll between these apps like this. Now one of the features Mission Board was missing was the ability to close apps and thankfully they have added that in here and you just long press on one of these apps here and then you have the little minus sign in the corner there as you can see and then just press the home button to get rid of it. Also is the ability to enable paging. So if we turn that on here and we invoke Mission Board Pro, you'll see that the apps now swipe in pages of four just like that and they come to a nice clean stop for each one. Then we also have badges and this will actually put the notification badges on the apps in the switcher. So if we turn that on, you can see here that I have six unread emails, I have 10 apps to be updated, I have two Facebook notifications, uh, it's pretty cool and it uh, gives you those little notifications right there in the corner with the badges. And another option here is to always show close. If we turn that on, it will always show the little minus sign to close the apps. And you can do so just by hitting that little minus sign in the corner there to close them out like that. Another really cool and awesome feature that was added to Mission Board Pro is a control center. And so if we swipe over here to the right, you see that we have a music player right here. And if I hit play on this, You'll see we have a nice, beautiful album artwork pop up and the background is actually painted with the album art as well. We can control our volume here like that and we can switch tracks and pause. Next we have this little gear icon right here and if we tap on the gear, we have a little control panel that pops up. We can actually set our airplay right here, then we can kill all apps with this little kill all button. So as you can see I have all these apps open. And if I go back into the little control panel here, if I hit that X, they all close out. And we also have an orientation lock, which is pretty cool. Then we have Wi-Fi Bluetooth toggle right there, right next to each other. And we also have a flashlight button, which will turn on the camera's LED light, as you can see behind here, just by pressing that little button. And so that's actually a really cool feature right there in itself. And we also have a brightness control. So we can control the brightness up and down just like that. And as you can see, the layout on this thing is pretty clean. It's, uh, I think that it was done very well. This new control panel and music player is a perfect addition to Mission Board Pro, and I highly recommend it. So you guys, go ahead and check it out. It should be releasing today in Cydia under the Big Boss repo for $2.99. Give it a shot. Check it out, it's Mission Board Pro, and you can also follow the developer down here and find more tweaks from him as well. Thank you very much, this is Dom, and I hope this was helpful. Have a great day.